Before we start, let's set a baseline that every Omori community member can agree on. There we go. Sunburn. Sunburn is the pepperoni pizza of Omori relationships. No one really has a giant issue with it. It's hinted at heavily in the main game. It's tried and true. You can reliably talk about it and everyone will have a good time. It's great. It's hard to complain about. It's an A. Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart. This relationship fell out in-game for a reason. Space Boyfriend can do much better. Sweetheart has a ton of stuff to work out. She's ludicrously selfish, going as far as to marry herself later on in the game. I'm really glad to have seen things fall out. It seems like Space Boyfriend's highly agreeable and he would have kind of just gone with the flow. So thankfully he got out while he could. This gets a D tier. Kel and Basil could work reliably well, I suppose. Kel's highly sociable and outgoing, whereas Basil's more reserved. I could see Basil wanting to return his food reluctantly at a restaurant, and Kel goes up and makes them actually do it, because Basil is not brave enough to. This gets a C tier. It could work, it could not work, it is what it is. This one I'm not so sure on, Hero and Sunny. I feel like, I feel like this could potentially cause an otherwise good friendship to fall out. Hero seems to function better as a mentor that kind of keeps everyone level-headed. Hero and Sunny are both level-headed in their own different ways. I'm not necessarily sure they would complement each other very well. Still, it's probably better than Sweetheart and Space Boyfriend. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in C. Aubrey and Mari could work decently well. Aubrey is quick to anger, whereas Mari is more, you know, sweet and loving and she's able to probably reel her in if she gets really angry. I could see this working, although I don't really hear much about it. I guess this could work, sure, why not? It gets a C. Uh-oh, that goes here. Sibling on sibling, that's gonna go right in F. Apologies to any Game of Thrones fans in the chat. No slight against you whatsoever. Aubrey and Basil, I could see this one working. The cutscene towards the end of the game implies that she kind of introduces him to the friend group. Maybe there's some lore aficionados that can delve into that deeper, but um, I do think this is a good mesh of introversion and extroversion, uh, anger and kind of, you know, um, and someone who's more conserved. I think this could work. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in B. Kelbri. I have a soft spot for Kelbri. I'm a Kelbri advocator. I go door to door, shilling it, uh, and then I get kickbacks on whoever, uh, thinks that it's a good ship. I think... You know, I was playing Autumn Break recently and it reminded me that their banter is just super annoying sometimes. Like, it was a well-written mod and the game is well-written, but just they argue so much that honestly, I think everybody would be at least a little bit happy if they got together, so they'd just shut up. Obviously, that's not the end-all be-all of arguments couples argue all the time, but I do think it would make them argue less. I'm gonna go with B here. Whoa, not sure how this one got in here. That is crazy. What is going on? Oh my gosh. It's even cropped incorrectly. No idea what this is doing here. Solar system. This is a ship that is literally four different people. It's Sunny, Kel, Aubrey, and Basil. This is cheating. Someone literally couldn't decide what ship they wanted, so they just selected all of the above, and uh, that was that. This gets an E. Kel was originally made as a foil for Sunny, so I could see them uh, working semi-well. Once again, it's a good meshing of opposite personality types coming together to make something more functional. Provided Kel learns about the Mari stuff and is able to move past it, which I hope he is, I think this could blossom into something pretty good, a B. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot to add Sunflower to this. 